वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डेटा बेस डेवलपर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड विल डिस्कस थ्री मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच इज बेसिकली रिपीटेबल क्वेश्चन फॉर द डेटा बेस डेवलपर सो इफ यू अटेंडिंग द इंटरव्यू फॉर द डेटा बेस डेवलपर डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन and uh, i already started the series of the interview question for the uh, like different different organization they ask putting so if you also have the if you attending the interview and if you have the question noted down you can email all this question on the pande guruji uh, at the rate gmail.com so i will create the video and i will provide the uh, answer so uh, this will this will be very helpful to other people who Uh, attending the interview in the field of the sql so uh, basically the first question is uh, find the table uh, without cluster index uh, like uh, if there is no cluster index there is no primary key uh, how many table is available in the database so basically this type of the uh, query required to filter the uh, table uh, need to be verify that how many table still in the database is there that we not not created any uh, cluster index so uh, they using in the application uh, but very rare case uh, we have this type of the situation uh, but some time of the auditing point of view uh, like the senior person they want to see the developer they follow the correct way or not okay so if you have the senior developer and uh, you need to be do this type of the activity in the uh real time environment okay so let's start uh, with the uh, this first question uh, and the second question with the, let's complete the question understanding first then we'll start one by one the second question is the uh, what is the temp store procedure uh, we already aware of the temp table and uh, table variable global temp table local temp table but sql server also we have the temp store procedure and uh, Seventy uh, to eighty percent developer don't know the uh, concept of the temp store procedure. Okay, so even even they not aware. The reason is very we not using frequently this type of the uh, temp store procedure. Okay, so that is the reason. Fifty uh, percent uh, of the uh, developer don't know the uh, what is the exact, exactly temp store procedure is there. Now third question is the how to use the case statement in where clause. in the, uh, we know how we can use the case statement in the uh, select statement but uh, uh, in where clause how you can use the case statement so we'll discuss all this uh, three question one by one uh, if you have any uh, question doubt uh, you can ask me uh, on the video comment and if you want to learn the complete sql uh, i have complete training material uh, for the sql developer database developer data scientist data analyst so all we have uh, this material so we also have the recorded session uh, we also have the uh, basically training material interview question practical question okay one to one uh, training program also we have so if you want you can enroll i will provide the uh, link in the video description so uh, let's start with the first question so basically this is uh, related to the uh, a uh, schema sys schema so you need to be used the table is equal to object name i will provide this code on the uh, video uh, description you can just go and download uh, this sql file and you can try to run in our database like for example i have this database and if i try to run this code okay so i have this menu of the table is there uh, to figure out uh, basically this table we don't have any Uh, primary key or we don't have any uh, cluster index created so sys index we have the information index id is equal to 0 means there is no uh, indexes is there and user table is equal to 1 means the table if you remove this one you will get uh, basically other information also okay so this is the answer of the first question uh, second is a very interesting what is the temp store procedure so when we create the any store procedure Uh, before uh, procedure name if you put the single hash is called the local uh, store procedure if you put the double hash it is called the global temp store procedure 
and the store procedure temporary store procedure is basically used for the temporary point of view uh, this will be not stored in the database this will be stored into the temp db so let's see i am creating one simple store procedure temp sp and i am selecting one data from the table so you can see this uh, let me i think we already have the executed so let me put the sp1 okay so if you create this procedure and uh, if you try to execute this procedure in this window you will get the output but when you try to run this uh, uh, in different window basically not available so the temporary proce procedure will available within the uh, same window but if you create the global uh, store procedure and this will be available into the when the server is not rebooted okay so you can see this will be executed so now if you try to run in that uh, new window it will got executed the reason is this is the global store procedure okay global local store procedure okay so basically uh, this is uh, bus just we using just for the uh, temporary point of view uh, but uh, this is the same concept of the temp table and uh, uh, table variable okay so now coming to the third question how to use the case statement in the where clause so in the case statement we can use the where clause uh, basically uh, you need to be used where one is equal to uh, one is the true condition case when gender is equal to m then one else zero okay so when the gender male will be there so you will get all the output of the male employee we can also simply write the where clause but sometimes interviewer uh, will ask this condition okay so if you have multiple condition also we can use in the where clause so i hope you got the understanding uh, this type of the question so this type of the tricky question they will put into the interviewer uh, to figure out that uh, you have the proper understanding or not uh, still if you have any question doubt uh, you can put send me the all the uh, detail in the uh, email okay the email i provided so thank you so much for watching we'll meet again again in the next video